What's up guys, Shane Stars here. Today I've got a very interesting video for you, especially if you are an educator or some type of teacher. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a professional book scanner by Caesar. This is the ET24 Pro, and it's gonna help you to get professional scans of books and other documents and really anything. Let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Caesar. So I actually scan books all the time. We lead a small group, which is kind of like a Bible study here at the house house once a week. And with that, I usually do have to scan books for the lessons. When I do that, I use a printer, so like an old traditional scanner. The only issue with that is I'm having to lift the lid, put down the page, then I have to flip the page, put the page back down, close the lid, scan it, and then once I have all of my individual scans, then I have to formulate my own document. Um, that's just kind of a pain in the rear. And then sometimes you have books and documents that are just too big for your traditional scanner and you're not gonna be able to scan them at all. The ET24 Pro makes everything super easy to scan, whether it be a book or some other type of document or even you know like a toy or something like that, passports, business cards, all of these things become super easy to scan into the system. I'm really excited to check this out. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. All right, so here we have our box. Let's go ahead and get this open and see what all this comes with. We have the actual scanner. Also wanted to mention that this comes with a ton of accessories. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up and get the software installed on my MacBook and then we're gonna start scanning some stuff. There's a secondary light that is used to reduce the glossiness or the reflection from the page. So we're gonna go ahead and install that now. It snaps on really easily here uh, with a magnet. So you know that it's on there. You can press the button to turn it on. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the overhead light and you can see that the glare has been reduced. So we're gonna go ahead and scan this page all right, so let's go ahead and scan this page. You've got it all lined up here. All right. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take a look at it. This is really incredible how well this is able to scan. I can never scan this on a traditional scanner. So I, th I think this is really amazing. Get a better picture of it here. Um, and then, you know, if you're vision impaired and you want to enlarge the print so that it's easier to read, you're able to do that with this digitized version. I just... I think that's really cool. Okay, let's take a look at the other page. All right, and once again, you can see this major hump in the page, but overall, it's flattened here. Now, there is another option here. They do include the finger cots, so I'm gonna demonstrate that for you really quickly. So we're gonna put these on our thumbs here, and uh, these little pieces need to go into the margins, okay? And you have to be in the center of the page with these in order for the software to pick them up and remove them. All right, so we're going to start from the center, and we're going to push it out until we get to the edges, just kind of naturally like so. And then once we have it all flattened out, then we can go ahead and take our photo. Since I'm using both hands, I am going to go ahead and install this foot pedal. All you have to do is just kind of plug it into the back, and then we'll put that on the ground. That way, I'm using both hands here, so I am going to use this foot pedal to take my photos. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and test out this foot pedal real quick. And that does take a scan. All right, now I'm gonna grab my finger cots again, and we're gonna flatten that out and take a photo, take a scan. All right, so we'll go from the middle and work our way out to the edges like so, making sure that we are in the margins. And we do wanna go ahead and move that book and line it up perfectly. All right, and then we'll press the button with our foot. Okay, I think we're gonna get a much better photo of both sides. Okay, so that's so much better. Um, that just looks amazing, and it totally takes away that edge. I think it, get, it really gives a high resolution photo too. This is a 24 megapixel high res image, and you can tell it's getting all the detail with no glare which is awesome. You wouldn't be able to do that with like a cell phone or anything like that. You really do need something more professional like the ET24 Pro. I do think it's important to mention that you do have to go horizontally here. You're not going to be able to go vertically. So you wouldn't be able to hold the page down like this. You won't be able to hold the pages down from the corners. In order for the software to remove the cots, you've got to go in the middle and make sure you're holding these down in the margins and then it's going to automatically remove those 
like in the previous demonstration. Earlier we had talked about, you know, I've got this huge book. I'd love to be able to take it on a plane, but I'm not going to lug around this ginormous book. However, I need to go ahead and scan every single page of the book so that I can get caught up on it. This does have an auto scanning feature, which makes it super fast to get the entire book scanned. The way you would do that is we'll come down here and click where it says auto scan in the bottom right hand corner. And then literally all I have to do is flip the pages. Once you flip the page, it takes about a second and a half to scan. You'll see some red lights. And then once the red lights go away, it's finished scanning and you can just continue to flip through scanning your pages. As you can see, it's super fast. And this is definitely gonna save a lot of time. You could scan through this entire 300 page book in just a few minutes. This also works really well for rolled up documents and files. This would be great for engineers, doctors, historians, uh, people like that. I've actually got a historical document here from 1902. So I have to be real careful unrolling this. We're gonna go ahead and get this scanned and digitized. It's kind of like a family heirloom. So we can use these finger cots here if our fingers are going to be in frame. I think here they're not really going to be in frame and we're going to have to kind of spread the edges out a little bit more to get a good solid picture. Okay, so I've got my flat single page selected. I'm going to go ahead and give this a scan. All right, and there is my digitized, super rare, ancient uh, photo. You can also scan just about anything with this. So I've got a couple of older wedding photos, me and my wife. And we can easily just scan these in. I love how it automatically grabs the edge of the photos. All right, that's scanned in. We've got just a random design drawing here. And no matter how you put it on here, it's going to grab it and scan it. All right, and there's the final product. It's got the entire design there. So it just makes it really quick and easy to share hand-drawn designs. When we are done scanning, we'll just hit the back button and then we're going to go over to where it says export and you have several different options here. So you can do a Word, an Excel, PDF, searchable, TIFF, or text. So there's all kinds of different options here for saving. Okay, if we save it as a document, a Word doc, or an Excel, these are both editable. We'll select the ones that we want to save. So just give it a check and then you can do a Word doc, PDF, all kinds of different options here. I'm gonna go ahead and export as a Word document. All right, and this is what we are left with with our finished Word document. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's worth mentioning here that this flattening technology is only available on the Caesar scanner. So you're not gonna be able to find this with any other product. If you're scanning pages anywhere else, you're gonna have the curvature in those pages. Another really awesome feature here is that you can share your books and things with a Zoom meeting. So I don't know, maybe you've got a project or something that you're doing. Um, maybe you want to be able to collaborate with other people over a Zoom call. You'll be able to actually share projects with this professional scanner. So I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and host a meeting, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. All right, let's do this. Let's go back and we'll do a visual view and display it. Okay, now you're gonna get a live view of what is underneath the scanner, all right? You'll be able to share all of this stuff. All right, and I'm also able to go ahead and draw on the screen here as well. So if I want to kind of highlight something or underline something here, or maybe I just want to cross something out because it needs to be corrected, I can do that while I'm sharing the screen. So I definitely think this is a great option. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the screen share here um, and then drag back over my Zoom. But I think this is definitely a great option for anyone that wants to collaborate with coworkers and kind of share your project and you guys can edit and work on it together. So another interesting use case, um, I do review phones and I do a lot of live streaming over on Amazon. Um, you know, using this as kind of like a premium overhead rig might be another use case. Uh, that is kind of an interesting use case for me. I like the fact that I can get this live view from overhead with great lighting. And, you know, this might be something that I could use uh, for demonstrating products. Um, also, if you just wanted to get, say, a scan of your phone, you can get a scan of your phone there as well. You can pretty much scan anything that's going to fit in this area. So books, passports, uh, really anything that you can think of, you can scan it here. So I think this is 
pretty cool for all kinds of different use cases. So overall, I do have to say, yeah, this is a very niche product, but if you do find yourself scanning books all the time and you really wanna make it more efficient and you wanna make your scans look much better, or if you just have a pile of books, maybe you have photo albums, things like that, that you want to be able to digitize very quickly, this is definitely the way to go. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick this up today for yourself. Super early bird pricing is still available. Be sure to head to the link in the description for 50% off your order today. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.